Good morning, Lola. So it's a morning time. We're getting everybody in and out. Hi. So I have so many eggs. I don't know what to do with. So I've been cooking up eggs for the puppies. When I mean the puppies, I mean not the puppy puppies, but all the big dogs. So they've had scrambled eggs. And sometimes yesterday I put some bacon in it. But I have so many eggs. And this is already... This is just from one day's worth. So you can imagine how much eggs I'm getting. And I'm getting um, turkey eggs, which are really pretty. They're speckled. I don't know. The lighting's not that great. And um, oh, I found a, And all these are guinea eggs, which I've hatched so many. So I've been cooking up eggs. I've been giving away eggs. Um, I'd rather give them away than waste them. And... Um, it's healthy. I mean, our chickens eat good here and they're treated well. So this is what the troops are having for breakfast. Some kimbles and scrambled eggs. So Ebby's pretty excited. <laughs> she came down and she smells eggs. Yep, you're going to have eggs for breakfast. Her appetite's picking up, so I'm hoping that means she's pregnant. We'll see, though, in about another week. Oh. Whoa. Potty, big man. Come on, mama. Let's go see what the world's doing today. Hi, chubby. Guineas are up. Oh. That hurt. They got me in my foot. She loves it. Listen to that. Full force. You done being bullied to him? Yeah. She should, yeah, I guess. So I came in the kitchen and Isabel thinks it's okay to steal some of the, <laughs> the dog's eggs. Oh goodness, what a zoo. Would you be on the counter, Isabel? And she's off. Hi, Bubba. You so handsome, Bar. Oh, uh, Isabel. Abby saw you. Abby, she was eating your eggs. I told her not to. She said, I'm hungry. <laughs> that crazy kitty. You ready to go out? Go up and have some breakfast? Huh, Abigail? You gonna go have some breakfast? She's all excited. Her tail's wagging. She's so sweet. He's a good girl. Good morning, Frank. <laughs> so I went and got his bowl to give him his breakfast. And... He strategically didn't eat his meds last night. Like the rest of it, though. So they had um, peanut butter. He likes peanut butter. Come on, buddy. And off he goes. Filling my flower beds that I made, well, that I put together a couple months ago. This morning I went out to a landscaping place and got potting soil so I want to try to start planting my uh, garden this weekend so and I started <coughs> weeding but I still got ways to go look at all the dirt that's what two yards looks like <laughs> This is a 350 truck, so it can hold it. But we have that one and this one to do. This is um, fertilizer from last, from all our birds I put on here. And um, now we're going to put some good um, topsoil mix, they call it. So better, but I'd rather start with a better um, soil. You're up to shoveling all that out today? Let's see what we get. <laughs> One shovel at a time. But I, um, I already weeded these ones. I still have this one to go. And you can see the bamboo is full effect. Loves to grow. So we'll try to get that taken down too. I don't know if we should put the puppies outside. 
before we start this? I already started. I can bring them out. It's just going to take me. Oh, I'll help you. Uh, I can only carry two now because they're heavy. Long and lanky puppies. So while we're doing this, we're going to put the little puppies outside in, in the gazebo so they can enjoy today's weather. Because it went from being very cold to 85. Yeah, I got to bring my shovel when I go back. I was hoping you'd have it all done when I got back. Yeah, I did. I want to let you scoop out. Mm. They finally settled down and just realized that they're just enjoying it. <laughs> oh geez, we didn't see her. There she is. You got your water, are you eating your grass? Yep. Is it good? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Little babies? Hi. I'm gonna kick it fast now that she's right here. You look tired, Raven. You sleepy girl. <laughs> You're fine. Goodness. Goodness. Look at that little face. I know. I got you guys going. I knew you was playing. Meanwhile. At least this year is drier. It's easier. Last year it was wet and heavy. Yeah, we've actually made a lot of headway. Because that one's already full. It looks good. You just... Lucy sees me. I'm sure she'll start. Need a drink of water? Hmm? Hmm? She said, oh my god, it's her. You thirsty raven? Let me get you some water. <laughs> Lucy, are you chewing on that bar? Oh, somebody did some poops. Oh no. Was it you? Oh, you're going to bite your sister? Yep. <laughs> what? Little baby. Little babies. Hi. Can Grandma come in? Huh? I'm going to wash away. The poop. Yeah. Yeah. Flower beds are done. You guys excited? Actually, they're not flower beds. They're vegetable beds. Raise beds. Thirsty kids. Yep. Got some dandelions floating around in there. Hi, Raven. So they've been out the whole time while we were unloading uh, the dirt. So they're probably ready to go inside. Plus we got some poopy accidents. So we don't want them to get into it. So we'll take them in and clean up, clean up in here. I like the boots. So I, we did end up getting the two beds in it. It was like 85 degrees out today, so it was super hot. We got this done and not much, not much more. <clears throat> I was hoping to get my garden actually planted this, uh, this weekend, this weekend, but it was just so hot. Um, it just seems like it went from, uh, you know, winter to summer. We didn't really have any spring weather, so 85 is like our summer temps, not really our spring temps. So we've had a lot of 85 degree days, so it really took, you know, 
the energy right out of us. So, but we did get it done. Um, now I'm going to start putting my vegetables in and finish weeding that last raised bed. Because of the heat, we year out too. We actually, I actually put the easy up to give these guys some shade because it's just, they're under the direct sun and it's just too hot. You can see how their mouths are open. That means they're hot, but they do have two pools and a water container. As the guineas, they have shade too, so they're usually pretty happy. What, Queenie? You're very vocal today. What are you doing out? Hi. So they're enjoying it. We st we're still um, just using this electric fencing because we haven't gotten to, uh, she said, oh no, she's after me. We haven't gotten to the project of getting it done yet. So they're just chilling out here. They still have the space, but we did have to put that up because it got too hot. So that's theirs anyway. They, I bought that for them last year too, because we just have so much direct sun. And that's why we want to keep some of the trees in the back up for them so they can have sun and some of them like to rue like if they get out if they can get up in a tree they're safe hi jasper uh, she's my chocolate turkey just love her she's so freaking cute and she's actually hatching out eggs already she's so tiny though and fred even fighting with the other rooster again you know we've rented a couple different tractors to try out which one that we like um, we did notice that the ones that we were renting were kind of too small for what we were looking for. So we've kind of, you know, just saved our money and looked and waited till the right one popped by. So last week we were on our way to, um, we're actually in our own little town, but we were on our way to go somewhere and we just happened to see somebody put their tractor out and it was up for sale so um it was the size we were looking for and in our own town so it was like win-win so we just noticed it that day so we happened to go in and kind of take down information about you know the phone number to get a hold of somebody and it just happens to be the um the wife of the gentleman that was selling it was coming in her driveway so we actually just gave her our number and said this is kind of something we're looking for we'd love to come look at it because um, we have so many plans to um, move our dog fencing expand our chicken thing and we can't do that with a small tractor we've realized to pull out roots we need something bigger so we were we were pretty happy when we stumbled upon this big boy so this is what we ended up getting so we now have a big tractor it all in one shot so we ended up buying this it's a big uh, I guess they consider this a backhoe so it's it's big um, this is two parking spots that it's in right now so um, it was with what within our price of what we wanted to pay um, we knew we had to pay you know to get a tractor, you kind of have to pay a good amount. So um, we felt like it was a fair price. It's in excellent condition. Everything works on it. It's even extenda. It's called an extenda hoe, where the hoe even goes even further. Um, my husband, by you know renting the other tractors, kind of knows how to run them. So um, I'm gonna learn because <laughs> I want to learn too. But this is how big the bucket is like I I can't even I think that's over six feet that's got to be eight foot bucket yeah I think I don't know but um so we're really excited this is our our new tractor new to us um but she is a big boy and we can't wait to get out there and start moving some stumps and stuff Isabel's <laughs> right there loving on it so um, we are going to keep our old tractor that we first bought I mean that one's an old one but my husband said he likes it for certain things so um, no sense of getting rid of it then so we're going to keep that and this is our this is our hopefully our fix to um, get everything done here I mean we do owe, we do own 16 acres so 
we need a big machine and honestly renting one gave us um, an understanding of what we want so we waited and then we just got lucky because this one was in our own town and honestly not even five miles away so it's all said and done we are now owners of a big tractor so we're pretty excited um, I'll be shooting videos of you know us getting um, things done and uh, and so forth but that's what we that's kind of this week has been busy another week before we find out about Ebby's pregnancy because we gotta wait 30 days I mean so we got another week um, but she was that would like be the earliest too because she was bred like starting and then you know there's a few days in between so we had that this week um, Nala is doing great the meds that they gave her I mean she never had a um, she's the one that had mastocytis last weekend, and I was at the emergency vets, um, but it cleared right up um, with the meds, and she's doing great, and the puppies were out today. They do go home next Friday, and they all do home. They all do have homes. I, I forget to say that, and I always get people messaging me, but they do have homes. Um, we do have a waiting list for Ebby's, and it's quite long, um, especially for boys. If you want a girl, you might be able to squeeze you in. There's no guarantees. But we do, uh, we also are waiting for Lexi to come into heat. And we will have a fall litter with Mag and Diesel. Everybody's waiting for Diesel's pups. Uh, he has a great disposition. So, and all our girls do too. So that's the update. I'm just trying to get stuff done. Trying to get our garden prepped and ready to start planting. I moved all my plants out into the barn last weekend to get them weather ready for the weather um, outside but it's been 85 um, so uh, just busy 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 um, I will get like maybe a 30-day break in between these puppies going home and and um, Ebby's going into to labor but I also want to um, I also kind of want to go in you know the puppy's room and you know clean it out and I'm not really happy with the floor that we put down because we live in an old house so um, where it gives it kind of cracks some of the tiles I wasn't happy with that so I'm still thinking about what I want to redo the floor in there if I'll have enough time before the second litter the next litter gets here but those are all like on my to-do list which probably like you guys is never-ending but we up in New Hampshire are getting 85 degree weather. It's crazy, we're enjoying it. We're trying to get the most done, um, trying to get the puppies out as much as we can. Um, we try to limit the time because we have black flies galore and the little puppies will have red bumps on their bellies. That's from black flies. So we tried, we don't put anything on them because they are babies, but we try to just, it's, you know, try to get them out so they can, you know be socialized and enjoy the weather and then worrying about ticks black flies is another another thing because all our um crew that lives here all have the sorrento collars or berecto pills most of them have the collars only one we do the pills for different reasons but um the little guys we really can't they're too young and they're going to go to their new homes and then you know that's their owner's discretion on what they want to use something topical or a collar or whatever that's up to them but those little puppies will be going home next Friday. They have their vet big trip out. So we will probably do a video on that. What are you guys all doing? Is that Maggie barking? So as you can see, everybody's out because... Yes, somebody's walking by the dogs because they were all getting out except for Zoe. So I felt bad for Zoe. So I just took the back portion off so they can come in and out so they can still use the potty um, because they were all getting over the the fence. Well, not the fence, the wall. So, hi, Mommy. Here's Mommy. So we did that because, I don't know, these guys are so lanky. They get right over that with, like, an ease. Even the other one that isn't is... Um, Zoe was the only one that didn't, so now I have to come in and pick up accidents, but that's okay. They're going to start using 
Hopefully now that they know their little wall is open, they can use come in and use a potty. I did see Zoe do it, but these guys will have to be reminded. I left out the Kadundra bed, so they feel like they're safe under the bed. And they sleep on the bed too, especially uh, Francesca. But there's Sledge, Lucy, and Rocky already sleeping over by the bed. And the other ones are in the front over here seeing what's going on by anybody passing by sniffing things up hi colbit she found an old a old cable wire box it looks like hey francesca and little francesca has always liked that bed so we'll see it's gonna be more messy but i guess we can handle it for a week and they are going and using potty not every time but um, they'll get used to it, I think. Hi, baby. Hi, Francesca. Are you fun today? They're so freaking cute. And that's Eva barking because she wants something, I guess. They're all going in and out right now, so. Hi. Look at her. She's so freaking cute. They all are. But they're so lanky that they were able to stand up and get over that. I mean, they're not overweight puppies, so they're long and slender, where some of our other ones have been just too chubby to get up there and get over. But these guys, if you look, look how long she is. So I think that's what our problem is. So if you like our channel and you like our videos, please subscribe and like this video. Um, we appreciate it and we love all the feedback and the comments and suggestions we like that too because you know we run out of ideas or just things that you want to see um that i take for granted <laughs> being with you know 10 great danes every day um so if you have any suggestions just let us know we'll see what we can do about getting those uh you know brought to light so you have a good day thanks for watching